Last-minute changes to the leadership at several secondary schools across the island have resulted in complaints from a number of teachers. CBC understands some of the principals and deputy principals were informed of their reassignment to different schools only within the last few days. Some teachers who spoke to CBC said the changes were communicated after planning week and would mean adjustments have to be made. Explaining the situation, Chief Education Officer Dr. Ramona Archer Bradshaw says the Ministry of Education was only notified recently of the selections and appointments, which were done by the Public Service Ministry and take effect from today, September 18th. We understand that the appointment and the assignment um, are not ideal in terms of timing but this is what we have to deal with at this time and we crave the indulgence of the teachers you know the students uh, the principals and deputy principals who have been assigned and appointed and those who will have to revert beyond that she was pleased with how the first day of school got underway i have received no negative reports about the opening of school so i look forward to a very productive academic year. She shared that the Education Ministry and the Ministry of Health and Wellness are working on ways to keep students comfortable in the learning environment, despite the extreme heat being experienced. Includes allowing children regular water breaks, allowing children to sip water throughout um, class time, possibly moving children from a hot classroom to a shady area outdoors. One of the things that we will be doing as well is that we will be conducting an audit um, for, to determine which classes and which schools will need water coolers and which classes, which schools will need fans. Dr. Archer Bradshaw added that uniform rules have also been relaxed. We have allowed students and parents the flexibility in being dressed for school. So instead of wearing the full uniform, some children wear a, a, a shirt on the inside and an overall and then a belt. We will allow them to wear their games uniform or a plain white t-shirt and uh, games pants. So that is to beat the heat. She's encouraging students to drink adequate water during the day to avoid dehydration. Crystal Hoyt, CBC News.